Gentlemen, the world is in trouble. Our circulation is down for the third quarter in a row. But, Mr. Pulitzer, every paper circulation's been down since the war ended. Whoever said war is hell wasn't trying to sell newspapers. We could use an exciting headline. What have we got today? The trolley strike. That's not exciting. It's epic. It's boring. Folks want to know, is the trolley coming or ain't it? No one cares why. And the strike's about to be settled. Governor Roosevelt just put his support behind the workers. That man is a socialist. Teddy Roosevelt is no socialist. He's an American hero. The man wants to outlaw football for being too violent. Football! Violent! You're right. He's no socialist. He's a commie! Mr. Pulitzer, can you please try to sit still? Gentlemen, you're making Nuncio nervous. And when Nuncio gets nervous, I don't look pretty. You never liked Roosevelt. You wrote an editorial against him day after day as he ran for governor. And guess what? He got elected. How can I influence voters if they're not reading my opinion? Big photos attract readers. Do you know what big photos cost? But without flashy photos or headlines, how are we supposed to sell more papers? There's an answer right before your eyes. People. Nuncio your nose while he's cutting my hair. Trim a bit here and then trim a bit there. Just a modest adjustment can fatten the bottom line. Shaving is tricky, the razor should float. Shave me too close and you may cut my throat. It's the simplest solutions that bolster the bottom line. But how does that help us sell more papers? We don't sell paper, silly. Nosies sell paper. I've got it. Right now, we're charging Newsies 50 cents for 100 papers. Yes. But if you raise their price to 60 cents for 100... Now you're getting somewhere. A mere tenth of a penny per paper. Every single Newsie would have to sell 25 more papers just to earn the same amount as always. My thoughts exactly. It's genius. It's going to be awfully rough on those children. Nonsense. I'm giving them a real-life lesson in economics. I couldn't offer them a better education if they were my own. Give me a week and I'll train them to be like an army that's marching to war. Proud of themselves and so grateful to me, they'll be begging to pay even more. When there's dirt on your shoes, boys, for God's sake, relax. Why throw them out? All you need is some wax. Listen well to these barbershop lessons, for they'll see you through. When you're stuck in the muck, you'll be fine. You'll erase any trace of decline. With the trim and a snip and a shine and the power of the press, yes, once again is mine. The price for the Newsies goes up in the morning. Just a few common sense, gents. That's the bottom line. Every 